This is a Lenovo Yoga Slim 7X, and it might very well be the best Snapdragon Elite X processor laptop that you can buy that won't break the bank. So let's go over what I like about this laptop, what I didn't find all that great, and see whether or not you should go get one for yourself if you're looking for an all-around laptop that's thin and light. So without rambling on too much, let's quickly talk about its specs. So this Yoga Slim 7X is rocking the brand new Snapdragon X Elite processor, the X1E78100 to be exact. This also packs 16 gigs of DDR5X RAM, which is soldered onto the motherboard. So it's not user upgradable, unfortunately, but they are quite fast. This also comes with 512 gigs of SSD, which is user replaceable, albeit a 2242 form factor. And this also packs a pretty massive 70 watt hour battery inside this thin and light chassis. Now the display on here is a 14 and a half inch OLED display. It's a 3K display, so everything looks crisp on here. And the colors, the infinite contrast level just looks so good. I'm also happy that it's a touchscreen as well, and it comes with a 90 Hertz refresh rate out of the box. Okay, so now that we've gotten the basics out of the way, let's talk about what I love about this laptop. And the pro number one would have to be the design and the build quality. I don't know what it is about this specific Lenovo laptop, but the Slim 7X just screams premium. From the lid to the keyboard down to the bottom of the laptop, it's just built really well. I also like that the hinge feels really sturdy and firm when opening the laptop. It doesn't feel cheap, nor does it look cheap either. And even though this isn't fully made out of aluminum, it sure does feel like it. I haven't noticed any creakings or any part of the laptop flex, even when I'm pressing down on the keyboard, everything just feels really premium. I also love how thin and light this is, even though it's packing some serious tech inside. I think a direct comparison in this price segment would have to be the 13 inch MacBook Air. It's not as thin or as light as the M3 Air, but it's pretty close to it. The Yoga Slim 7X weighs in at only 2.82 pounds or 1.28 kilos and as thin as 12.9 millimeters. So this thing is an absolute killer travel laptop. And then for pro number two, it would have to be the keyboard. I'm such a big fan of this keyboard just because it feels and types so well. It has pretty good travel. The keys are well spaced out. It's got a great tactile feel to them. And I've tested some laptops recently that have similar price tags. And some of those laptops, not all, have pretty mushy feeling keys, but this, this one has satisfying clicks to them. And I can get my usual 110 to 120 words per minute when typing, which is awesome. Okay, so for my last pro here, and it's obviously the performance and battery life. Now, I do wanna clarify here that this laptop or any Snapdragon laptops aren't gaming laptops, so don't go out buying this just because you want a thin and light laptop that can game. This isn't gonna be the laptop for you, but this will give you a pretty smooth and fast experience doing everyday normal things like browsing the web, watching videos, or even some light photo and video editing while still giving you ample battery life. And speaking of battery life, the first week or so that I've had the laptop, I've always had this in balance mode, which I think is what most people should have their performance mode set to. Uh, this way you can get good performance while also having good battery life. In this mode, I'm able to get 12 hours on a single charge, just you know, browsing the web, watching videos and writing scripts and video ideas. I don't really edit on this laptop, so I can't really say how performance is and how battery life is when editing 4K videos. But yeah, from my experience doing you know normal everyday things, battery can last up to 12 hours. And if you switch to performance mode with some gaming, I can push the laptop to about six and a half to seven hours, which isn't bad at all. Now, as someone who loves playing video games, I went ahead and installed Steam on here. And while there aren't many apps that are native to ARM, I still downloaded some of my favorite games that could run on this little thing. Now, since the Yoga Slim 7X only has 512 gigs of SSD, uh, I was kind of limited on what I could install while maximizing my time with this review. So the first game that I booted was Hades. Uh, this game is fairly light and won't take up too much, you know, processing power or graphics power. Uh, but this game was able to run at 120 frames per second, or in this case, for this laptop, the full 90 frames it's able to output. And everything about this game played really smooth like butter. I didn't notice any issues at all with this and it ran perfectly fine. Now I also went ahead and tested Rocket League, which is a really fun game to play either offline or online. And this game ran fine at 1200p in its quality preset and the FPS cap to 90. I was getting consistent 90 frames per second, which is awesome. Now with Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 Remake, I needed to turn the render resolution down and cap the FPS to 60, but also set the graphics quality to medium and turn off some effects to get that constant 60 frames per second. 
And yeah, it's very much playable, but it's also not gonna look the best. And then for the last game that I tested here, which is Kingdom Hearts 3, this just became available on Steam recently. And this one played okay on this laptop. Uh, the frame rate would fluctuate anywhere around 30 to 40 frames per second, depending on what my settings are. But with the resolution set to 1080p, the render resolution set to 50, and the graphics preset set to low, this was able to run the game at a constant 30 frames per second. If you want that 60 frames per second, I don't think that you'll be able to do that with this laptop, but with 30, you can for sure do that. Now, not every single game is gonna launch and it's more of a trial and error sort of thing for now. This isn't really a gaming laptop, so don't expect this to run AAA titles at 60 frames per second all the time. And then when it comes to synthetic benchmarks like Geekbench and Cinebench, this laptop performed pretty well in high performance mode. Uh, so in Geekbench 6, the Yoga Slim 7X got a single core score of just a little bit over 2400 and a multi-core score of just under 14,000, which is kind of insane, like I said, for a thin and light laptop like this. In Cinebench 2024, I was able to get around 108 points for its single core and roughly around 1070 for its multi-core, which is not bad at all. I'm sure the higher end Qualcomm chips on other laptops can score even higher than this one. Uh, but for this one though, this ain't bad. Also, I should note that the fans on this laptop are quite good that I actually haven't even heard the fan roll very loud in the month that I've had this laptop. I probably only heard the fans twice, maybe three times since owning this and it's not very loud when it's spun up too. And now let's talk about what I didn't find all that great or would like to see next time around. Okay, so if I'm being honest here, there aren't really a ton of things that I didn't like about this laptop without being, you know, too nitpicky. Uh, but one thing I'd love to see in a future Lenovo ARM laptop with Qualcomm chips is to have more ports. I get it, having, you know, three USB 4 ports on here is awesome. They're all high speed ports, but at least give those who are transitioning from older Windows laptops one USB A port. USB A ports are so common, especially for Windows users, that this means that they're going to have to buy dongles or adapters, kind of like what happened when Apple went all USB C on their laptops. It's annoying at first, but as someone you know who's already used to the USB C life, this didn't really bother me personally. But I'm sure other consumers would love to have at least one USB A port on here just for that peace of mind. But yeah, besides that, the only thing that I can think of uh, is the placement of the power button, which is right below that USB C port uh, on the right. I wish that they put the power button by the keyboard so I don't accidentally hit it when removing a cable out of that USB-C port on the right. But to wrap it all up for you guys, as an entire package, the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7X is probably one of the better Snapdragon X Elite laptops that are available right now. With a starting price of $1,200 for this spec or $1,300 for double the RAM and SSD, this is a really good laptop for the price. You're getting a beautiful 14 and a half inch OLED display with 90 Hertz that features vibrant colors and infinite contrast levels. You're getting Windows Hello authentication, a thin and light chassis that's built really well and arguably the best keyboard in any laptop in this category. So if you're looking to get one of the newest Snapdragon X Elite laptops, you might wanna look into this one first. Anyways, that's been it for this video. Make sure to stay tuned to the channel for more laptop reviews and yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.